tutorial of the Ice Queen Elsa from the movie Frozen and because this is one of my most favorite Disney princess movies ever I'm more than happy to do that for you guys I hope you enjoy it and um, yeah let's start so to start you should apply your foundation because besides making you look prettier it also helps to keep the colors of the makeup look more vibrant and also last longer so for my base foundation I used CC cream and some concealer to hide my dark eye rings and some impurities next I used a sheer powder because for people with pale skin like me it's incredibly hard to find foundation that uh, actually fits with their skin tone using transform powder is the best solution for me and I think the same goes for everyone out there just do your foundation the way it works best for you so now I'll show you the most important part of the look which is the eye makeup We'll start with the base color which is light beige and I'm going to apply this beige from my eyelid up to my brow bone. So this step is really easy and adds a good amount of depth to your eyes. So once we've got the base color, head on to a lavender and apply it on your eyelid and if you want the color to be stronger just apply another layer now to set apart the base color with the lavender color pick this dark purple color here and apply it in your crease shading your crease like this adds more depth to your eyes which also makes them look much bigger because the next color we use is the darkest i'm going to add now this glitter powder i'm basically just going to cover my whole eyelid with glitter powder it's going to look really pretty i'm going to use a lot of glitter because i love glitter and well why not Alright, so when your eye makeup is super sparkled up, then take a small flat brush like this and wet it a little bit. Then apply some black color and line your lash line. While doing so, make sure that your brush lies real flat and close to your eyelashes. You can also end the line in a tiny wing like this. Now go back to the inner corner of your eye and draw a line carefully right there. And just repeat this step for the other eye. Wet your brush, apply black eyeshadow and line closely to your lashes. The last step of the eye makeup would be the eyelashes and if you see Elsa you'll notice that she has really strong and thick eyelashes and for that reason I'm going to use fake eyelashes today. So these ones which I've got here are quite long and thick but they still look natural and not like spider legs. <laughs> um, you can see them here. And now my little tip regards putting on fake eyelashes is to adjust the size of the lash pen to your eye. So first I'm gonna lay the fake eyelash on my eye without lash glue and check the size. So now I've got an eyelash that fits my eye size. Using this method of adjusting the eyelash to your eye size, the lash band will actually hold much longer 
to your eye and it will also look much more natural. So now I'm gonna stick the fake eyelashes on and press them real close to my natural ones. Now that I've got both fake eyelashes glued on, I'm going to use mascara to blend my real ones with the fake ones together. And I'm also going to put some mascara on my under eyelashes. You can make your lower eyelashes look even stronger by adding some black on your lower lash line and for that I'm going to wet my flat brush and apply some black eyeshadow. Just line about one third of your lower lash line. Add some white based on an angled brush to fade the black line a bit. Starting from the inner corner of your eye and we're already done with the eye makeup. Now that we're finished with the most difficult part of this makeup, we can apply blush and this hot pink lipstick and for my cheeks I am going to use this cotton candy pink color so which I'm first going to puff a bit on my cheeks like this and then distribute the color with mass motions the makeup is done Bye-bye, boo!